How's it going guys, RXXC here, and we are back with uh, the final of this little run of openings I have. Uh, after this set, I pretty much have everything I really want out of this uh, run of Bakugan. Um, a couple other singles I just don't have, uh, but uh, I definitely wanted this Pyrus Halcor and this Aurelis, uh Turtle here. Uh, he's looking really cool. I already have these two, um, so uh, those will be extras for me. I have been using this for my uh, Nilius deck. Uh, so it, it doesn't hurt to have another one, definitely for collection purposes anyway. Um, so anyway, I'm going to uh, bust this open. Uh, you'll notice that uh, my target had to actually put their own code on here. Um, so I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's the code they had to put on there uh, because this barcode did not work yet because these weren't supposed to be out in stores just yet. So I had to go through a lot of trouble at the self-checkout. Uh, to get this, the uh, lady had to look up UPC on her phone and she couldn't find it there. So I had to tell her that I'm not going to return it. So if you want to give me the price for the old ones, I don't mind. And she was like, oh, okay. So uh, I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to work, but that's the way it did work. Anyway, I'm going to bust this open and I'll see you guys there. Bye. All right, guys, we're back. And um, opening this box, I was actually pretty uh, surprised um, I didn't realize that all but one of these Bakugan ran a magic shield and Halcor runs two and you get three 650 magic, uh, magic shield cores, which is great. That's the uh, best, uh, B power boosting core you can get right now. And then you also get the second best or well, the third best. And then the next one down, you get a 550 and a 500. This is really great. This Bakugan's gonna be relatively pretty good. Um, this Bakugan's pretty good for Magic Shield deck because it opens up well with a Magic Shield bonus. Um, Mantanoid uh, Ultra is gonna be pretty decent too. So, um, and honestly, I, I don't know much about these two. Um, I know Darkest Fangzor isn't the best thing in the world. Um, but five relatively decent Bakugan uh, I didn't even look at these yet. Um, Card-wise, not the best thing in the world. Uh, but these cores and these Bakugan, I want to say, are relatively worth spending the money to get this thing. Um, and plus, you get a plus five Red Fist and uh, one of the faction-specific B-Power boosters. So, core-wise, this is the best collection of cores we've gotten out of a Bakugan product yet, I want to say. I mean, besides value for the double dragonoid or triple dragonoid card pack things um but this five packs great so far um i don't know let's just take a look at these guys uh these cards aren't the best thing in the world so we're just not gonna talk about them but let's go, let's go ahead and go through them so fangzor darkest fangzor we've seen this before on the channel two green fist 400b plus three uh, uh shadow strike um I don't, i'm pretty sure he's not the best of the snakes uh he's definitely not the best of the snakes um, but this is Fangzor Core. So, uh, we've all seen him. Let's just give him a look. Did I, do I have a Fangzor that doesn't open? Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, Darkest Fangzor. We've seen him before. We know and love him. Uh, here's that. Uh, Aquas Nilius. Big fan of this Bakugan. Added him to my uh, Nilius deck I'm running. Uh, really cool because he does come with a blue shield. So, if you're running Chaos Nilius, you need that. Um... And then 300B plus 4. But if you land on a blue shield, which 650, I just dropped that card all the way on the other end of the floor. So I'm not going to grab it. <laughs> uh, 650 uh, plus the uh, 200. So you you got a great uh, B power to start with. I, I use him to uh, start out my rolls to win the battle. And then you get uh, 4. 4 damage for that. And you get some Frost Strike too, but irrelevant. That is, I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, here he is. I really love this coloration on him too. Very dark blue, centered. Um, very, very nice Bakugan in general. Uh, I love Nilius. One of my favorites, for sure. All right. Uh, and again, I just yeeted that card across the room on accident. So, uh, Tritonium uh, Auralis. Very excited about this one. Let's see if I can get a good roll on him here. Nope. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he opens up really well. Uh, Tritonium is just the chunk. And uh, he looks great. Uh, with the black uh, accents on this gold and silver, uh, you knew they couldn't go wrong with this one. Uh, I love Tritonium. The underside of his uh, neck or head there is black. So cool, like shadow accent to it. Um, top of the shell, silver. Really cool. Bottom of the feet are silver. And we all know Tritonium closes easy. Fold, fold, fold. 
There you go. Uh, really good Bakugan there. Uh, oh, didn't look at his card, sorry. Um, Magic Shield, Red Fist, um, Tritonium is going to have 200B and 6 attack. And if you land on the Magic Shield, he gets Shadow Strike, which is interesting. Uh, and if you land on a Red Fist, you get Frost Strike, which, whatever. Um, the Magic Shield is where these two cores are very good. Uh, so that's really important. This could be like your core boosting Bakugan. Um, he has an evolution. I'll put it right here for you to look at. Uh, again, I don't have my notes with me. Uh, so uh, just kind of look at that and uh, think what you will about that. Uh, but very cool Bakugan here. I love Tritonium. His design's great. He is a turtle. And if you do that, he does this. And that is cute. So uh, very cool. Um, let's look at Mantanoid. So uh, Mantanoid Ultra. Here he is in ball form. Looking uh, real nice. Uh, the Chaos coloration does wonders with him. Here we go, his card. He has a blue shield, of course, and a red, uh, a green fist. 500B and three attack, which is not awful, guys. Um, and I'm pretty sure he has a crazy evolution. I'll put that right here. Um, looking real cool. Uh, probably uh, gonna be a worthwhile Bakugan to uh, get your hands on. So roll him out and get a good look at him. Oops. There we go. <clears throat> no one loved Mantanoid already. Uh, let's take his little antennas up so we get the full Mantanoid view. Ooh, actually, they are not wanting to stay up for mine. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to do that. Or unless something's just not tight or not screwed in all the way. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, here we go. Mantanoid Ultra in Chaos coloration. Looks good. His little scissors on his hands are the Chaos Dark Blue. And uh, his eyes are the Chaos Dark Blue. So those are your accent colors here. Of course, with the Chaos uh, Seafoam Green Blue color, whatever you want to call it, all over him, highlighting all of his uh, details. Uh, Mantanoid is really cool. He's one of my favorite Bakugan, um, play-wise anyway. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Ventus Mantanoid. Um, and 500B there on the bottom. So, cool. Main event here for me, uh, Haukor Ultra. Uh, if you haven't seen this yet, his evolution is the Bakugan Elite for the Pyrus uh, faction of the Resurgence set. So, double magic shield. So, that means you're bringing two 650s to your side of the board. Okay. And the reason for that is that he has 100 B power. Uh, so, you roll him out and relatively you're going to be grabbing 750 with him. Uh, before any bonuses, and he has two attack. Uh, so you won't be getting any more attack off of that. But uh, looking at his evolution there, uh, you definitely realize why that's not going to be a problem late game once you get uh, your his best friend, uh, Tritonium Ultra, out there. Okay, These two will be, at some point, if not now, later, a force to be reckoned with. No matter how derpy one of the partners looks, <laughs> this is going to be something. Uh, we'll definitely make a deck with it, put it on the channel uh, so you guys can see because it's very interesting. Um, but that is one of the main reasons why I got this set. Let's make uh, Halcor's ears come up. Yeah, the full Halcor experience there. Looking real cool, real mean. Halcor is always fun uh, with all that great detail up in his head. Our heads, I should say. So. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been the Halcor Mantanoid 5-pack for uh, the uh, Wave 3. Um, again, these cores, guys, uh, just seeing this right there should uh, make you excited for this 5-pack. This is actually, I want to say, worth the money. Um, some of these uh, might be a little fluffy with some Bakugan you don't need. Like, I don't need this. I don't necessarily need this. So really what I got this for was this, 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 and um, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. I feel pretty good about this purchase. I uh, hope you guys go pick yourself one up. Uh, post down in the comments what your favorite Bakugan out of this set is, and we can talk about it. Uh, what you think about this set, uh, what you think they could have changed in this set to make it a little more worthwhile. Probably uh, change the ability cards here, but other than that, guys... Uh, post down in the comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out Matrix Mats down there, go to inkgaming.com to purchase one, and you can type in uh, RXXC10 for 10% off your order at Inked Gaming. It doesn't even have to be a Matrix Mat, guys. Uh, just use our code. It's there to help you. So uh, it helps you and helps us. 
But other than that, uh, appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. We should have some battle videos coming soon. See you later.